What is up guys, this is Colonial Puppet, and today I'm doing a tour of this cool mansion converted into a restaurant that I built uh, on Twitter, um, Minor Nation, I'll put a link to their channel, their YouTube channel in the description. They uh, came up with a challenge, um, and I was called upon to compete in this challenge to build a restaurant, and uh, this is what I came up with. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to use this build challenge as a, a start. i kind of been wanting to start a new city um, for a while, and I thought this would be a good way to start because um, I wanted to build on a super flat world, but I wanted some depth to kind of make an underground world uh, as well, not just the above ground buildings and whatnot. But um, yeah, so um, this is a custom super flat world. There's like... 40 blocks of uh, stone and dirt underneath this, so it's not just the standard, like, three blocks of dirt and then bedrock. Uh, so the buildings aren't going to be as tall, but there's going to be a lot more cool stuff in the underground, like tunnels and uh, railways and whatnot. But I'm going to do a pan around just to show you the exterior of the building. It's pretty cool. Uh, and the theme I was kind of going for was, like, a mansion that was converted into a restaurant like a really fancy restaurant as you'll see when I get inside but yep there it is pretty neat um, I'm actually gonna start in the back um, I'll go in the front at the end uh, or not at the end but towards the I guess middle of the tour but uh, this is the back entrance as you can see there's a outdoor patio with some uh, little outdoor picnic tables and a little mini bar kind of uh, to serve the people outside I didn't put a um, didn't put any umbrellas I just put the umbrella sticks because uh, one I don't I'm not a big fan of using the um, wool to make um, umbrellas and I thought it would make sense sometimes they like don't even have the umbrellas open they're just closed so I'm just gonna pretend that's the case here but cool has like a neat little pond uh, with sugar cane growing a cool kind of red uh, I don't know what these things are called but they're always in the front of fancy restaurants and whatnot so you walk in uh, this is actually separate from the rest of the restaurant it's like this little waiting area and as you can see here there's an actual entrance to that to the uh, restaurant itself check-in these neat little flare kind of things on the top and the bottom to make it look fancy uh, here's the entrance bar and restaurant there's a bar in there I'll show you later there's like a balcony up there bunch of cool uh, banners everywhere to make it even fancier and I forget who showed me this trick it's actually a um, you put a torch then you put a um, item frame and then you put the uh, stone slab inside the item frame and it makes it look makes torches look a lot fancier um, but I'm going to show you the underground it's actually there's a vast underground here uh, at the restaurant because um, like I said uh, I wanted this to be part of a city which it's going to be uh, that'll become more apparent once I go to the very bottom of uh, the underground the basement um, but yeah, the basement's just kind of storage. A lot of uh, chests and uh, uh, shelves and whatnot everywhere. Um, here's extra kitchen equipment just kind of layered everywhere. Uh, a bunch of extra chairs, extra tables. I actually work at a uh, conference center. We have tables and chairs kind of laying everywhere when rooms aren't being used. So I kind of channeled that into making this more realistic. So I got a bunch of extra little tables for the restaurant upstairs and chairs. Um, here is a, um, this was, my intent was for this to be the freezer for like meat and whatnot. I haven't filled any of the chests by the way, but come in here. There's a two door system. So there's like this little buffer in between. Uh, the outside and the uh, freezer inside uh, to keep it cool, I guess. I don't know. 
and also for people to wash their hands before handling food. So I'm going to open this up. Here's the freezer. So I don't know, there's supposed to be like meat hooks or something, and like a table for cutting meat, uh, rinsing off meat, I guess, and uh, cleaning meat and whatnot, I don't know. Refrigerators, storage for meat, meat locker, what are you going to do? Open this back up if I can. This is sort of really hard. Uh, I would use um. Let's try this door. I would I would normally use uh switches, but that keeps it open. And I don't want to keep freezer doors open, so it's kind of like a timer, I guess. And uh, also over here is like an office, I guess for someone who. This would be for like finance and whatnot, like where the paperwork for the uh, restaurant goes on. I don't know, like a little office. Pretty neat, uh, pretty basic. Like I said, I'm not very good at interior, or at least like the little details. Like that's supposed to be a bookshelf, I guess. That's supposed to be a lamp, the worst lamp ever built. It's just a stick with a torch on top of it little uh, hallway nothing special again this is like the storage basement so I, I wasn't too concerned about making it look nice um... Cause storage basements usually don't look nice uh... but down here is the metro there's gonna be a subway that runs through all this so i thought i'd make a subway station like a private subway station as you can see it's really nice looking really fancy uh, all these little things and you pull down a lever I'll show this and you poop out a uh, no, I don't have it because my inventory is full but they poop out um, mine carts I'm gonna put it back there it is pretty cool Boop. pretty nifty if you ask me. Um, then you come over here. Here's the platform. I don't know. Pretty standard. Fancy. And as you, this is like the only uh, building on the map. So the tunnel hasn't been expanded at all. But this is where people actually set down their mine carts. Uh, I'll actually do that. I'll just set it down. Get in. Press it and then you're off to wherever it is you need to go. Oh no. Since there's a wall it'll just shoot me back. Oh wait, left shift. Alright, there we go. Um and I haven't put the rail down yet, actually. I think I forgot to do that. I'll do that now. Um but yep, two way, so you can go either that way or that way. And everything is hooked up to redstone in the basement. I was going to do that for the entire building, but it turned out to be really hard. But all the lights are hooked up to this room right here. This one light switch. And everything goes down. Except for these. I don't get this. Everything's hooked up to the same, uh, to the same uh, grid, I guess. But for some reason, there's lights underneath these uh, bushes that for some reason won't turn off. Even though they're hooked up just like all the others are. To this switch. But yeah. And another cool thing is this light's actually hooked up to this. So when you close the door, the light goes off in that room. But when you open it, it goes on. It's pretty neat. All the lights are back on now. That light goes off. So here's a fancy, uh, fancy metro station. Or subway station, whatever you want to call it kind of rustic looking cool alright now for the actual restaurant Doo -doo. so not only is it a restaurant it's also very much built into the infrastructure of the soon to be city I haven't built a road yet but I will I was um, thinking of doing that like next I built a really cool uh, road system in another world that I was going to use to kind of like copy and paste but that world got like corrupted or something alright here is the actually do you know what I'm going to make this cool 
I'll come in at the uh, front of the door, front of the restaurant. Because the front of the restaurant's really cool. Alright, so. Here's the front of the restaurant. Very fancy looking. Not too shabby. And then you uh, come through here. Red lights, I don't know. I wish uh, stain stained glass would actually change the color of the lights like uh, it does with beacons. But you come in. Uh, here's coat rack. Or coat room. So you can come in, put your coats on these little racks check in and then you wait sit here um, but here's the uh, interior of the uh, awesome uh, awesome restaurant like I said it's kinda went for a mansion that was converted into a restaurant not necessarily a restaurant built for the sake of being a restaurant so it still has like a kinda homely look a nice chandelier I like to zoom and a fountain. I'd like to thank I forget if it was Juicy Taz or Spuffy. Uh this isn't the first design I had for the uh uh chandelier, but they suggested that I replace I actually had I had a had a had a where this uh, white uh window pane is or glass pane. Uh they actually suggested that I use glass pane instead of uh fence. And it looks a lot better. So I'd like to thank them for giving me that idea. Um, but yep. Bunch of cool fountain. Bunch of cool uh, banners everywhere. A lot of lights. It was a pain in the butt lighting this place. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but I think it turned out alright. Could get... It is a bit... Um, repetitive with all the torches everywhere but yep you uh, come in here sit down once you're called uh, there's seating kinda scattered all over the place there's like a seat here there's uh, seats by the fireplace it's a pretty nice looking fireplace uh, this is like the main seating area I'll actually zoom over there's like little tables big booths with music and whatnot um, here's a bar Build a big nice bar. Pretty cool. Uh, with some stools, which kind of look identical to tables, but oh well. Another uh, fancy fireplace. Some more seating. Bookshelves for if you're if you want to read while you uh, wait for your food. A lot of nice stuff. Um, here's the kitchen. The kitchen's kind of small. I had trouble fitting it in, but looks pretty nice. The kitchen. Here it is. Uh, it's a little cramped, but got your uh, your your preparing tables for preparing food or whatnot. The window for taking orders. Um, you got your ovens. I just burped a little bit. Uh, ovens and uh, uh, your um, I'm blanking refrigerators. There it is. Uh, washing machines or grills, whatever you want. Uh, and some more ovens. Storage. Typical, uh, checkerboard floor tiling. Looks pretty nice. Well lit. Um, so that's where all the food's made. And, uh, yep. That's pretty much the first floor for, this is like your standard eating area. Uh, then you go up the steps. There's a nice little hangout area. This is where the bathrooms are. Uh, washrooms. Uh, they call them washrooms in fancy places. Because that's fancier than bathrooms, I guess. And instead of men and women, it's ladies and gentlemen. Because this is a high class area. Also that balcony, this is where the balcony looks off. So once you're done using the restroom, you can look down at the people who are sitting there. Throw food at them, I don't know. But bathrooms... I'm not, I'm horrible at bathrooms. These are supposed to be paper towels. I kind of did the torch thing, but instead I put a button down, then I put a uh, item frame over that, and then I put some uh, uh, white wool to kind of look like um, paper towels on a rack. Usually this is used for toilet paper, but I use it for paper towels. Little sink, little toilet. Sit down and uh, use the restroom. 
and I didn't know that was my default skin. Uh, but yep. And gentlemen, the only difference is this thing is supposed to be a urinal. <laughs> Doesn't really look like one, but oh well. If anyone has a a good I don't know technique for building urinals, let me know. But you also have your sit down bathroom with the flush button. There's the gentleman's room, ladies' room. Some nice little paintings. Which they still don't let you cycle through. Which is kind of annoying. Alright. Another, uh... Another, uh... Fireplace. This is like a multi-tiered fireplace. And some more seating. With some music. There's gonna be discs in here. Right now there's nothing, but... They could come in, put a disc they want. It's kind of like a jukebox. Juke box. Fountain. I already showed you that. Some more, uh eating areas. Uh, here's like a little, I don't know, another balcony thing. And some plants, some more books for people who want to just sit and read. Um, and the, I'll just show like the cool designs on the carpet. Because this is all um, light blue clay that I just put carpet over. Uh, then we go upstairs, some sitting areas overlooking the entire thing. This is like where the VIP stuff is, private uh, uh, fireplaces. This is like a three-tiered fireplace, because it's all the same fireplace, it just has multiple openings. Uh, this is VIP private dining room number one, so this is for like if you have a party and you want to have your very own dining room to eat in. This is the place to do it. So private dining room number one. Private dining room number two. They're identical. Like stupid looking little chandeliers. Um, and yeah. Banners everywhere. Overlooking everything. Pretty cool. Very open. Uh, here's some balcony action. You can, uh, kind of walk around, look outside, it's like a little outdoor area for if you want to go out for a smoke, want to smoke on a cigar, and then go back in, very luxurious, pretty cool, and that's pretty much it, um, I'm trying to think if I missed anything, I don't think I did, but yep, that's pretty much it, it's just your typical restaurant. Uh, nothing special. Do a quick fly around again. Just to kind of give you a, a feel of the land. Uh, I There's going to be a schematic download. Or I'll put a world download and a schematic download. Unfortunately, it's only for PC. Uh, I may convert it to Xbox at some point. Um, or PlayStation 3 if they finally came up with a PC to PS3 converter. Or PS4. I don't know. But yep, that's the uh, restaurant. I'm going to do one more zoom around the exterior. Looks really neat. And other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll be... Uh, I do want to talk about the Let's Build an Airport series. I'm actually going to do another Let's Build a Control Tower. Uh, one, because I kind of missed... Uh, one of the videos got corrupted, and I was like, I had to skip a step in the or I had to skip an episode some people noticed um and I, I realized that that was the case and I tried to look for the video and uh, it wouldn't open for some reason so I kind of have to uh do that again um and the other reason is because uh my hard drive got corrupted and I kind of lost Titan City up until like the like right before I started building the um, the uh, control tower, that was like the last time it was backed up. So I have to kind of start from scratch there. So I uh, expect another control tower let's build. It'll be different from the last one. Uh, I'll try and make it a lot cooler this time. Uh, and then it'll be a... Um, I think I'm going to build a hangar. And then uh, the, con the uh, landing strip 
but yeah, I should be working on that. I'm actually going on vacation uh, until the 11th. Uh, so don't expect any videos from me for at least the week. I may upload like a stupid iPhone video. But other than that, don't expect any Minecraft from me. But thanks for watching this awesome uh, tour of this restaurant. I hope you enjoyed it. And other than that, this has been Colonial Puppet. Have a good day.